All parties in the matter of Johnson versus DeLong. Step forward. Brittany Johnson is suing her former friend, Angel DeLong, for the value of a sectional couch and patio furniture, as well as punitive damages. Ms. Johnson, there are two parts of your lawsuit. One part of your lawsuit is that your friend, Ms. DeLong, bought some used furniture from you. You were moving into your mother's house. Correct. Is that right? You were Correct. Selling your house, you sold her a couch and some other stuff that she didn't finish paying for. With regard to that, she acknowledges that she didn't finish paying for it, but she says that she helped you move. She got a truck and a U-Haul, and her boyfriend helped you move. So you told her to forget about it. You were even. And there's a second part of your suit. Who is this? Josh, that's what I figured. Uh, stand up. Second part of your lawsuit, which is really not a lawsuit against her, you moved in with your mother and you rented the house. Correct. To Josh over here, who Correct. is the boyfriend of the defendant. Correct. You don't live with him. No. And you rent Miss Johnson's house. Yes. Do you pay rent? I do. Every month? Yes. I mean, he did not pay for general mail. She gave me an eviction notice on May 18th. Okay. So, no, I didn't pay. Okay. And when are you leaving? I'm looking for a place now. It's hard to move in a did month. Did you pay rent in May? Yeah. So, so I paid why on the 5th. So why did you evict him? Because he, they were actually smoking in the home, and the agreement was that, you know, I was actually planning on selling my home. Okay. Um, I got it. All right. I don't want to know. Listen to me. Josh. Yes. You have to pay rent if you live someplace. It's like going yeah. in to buy and ordering a tuna fish sandwich, eating it and say I didn't like it because it had mayonnaise. I was current until she gave me the eviction notice. I know, but she gave you an eviction notice for a reason. And that I'm doesn't... looking for a place now. I don't, I don't want to rent her house anymore. Great, good. Sit down. I'm not dealing with this. That has nothing to do, as far as I'm concerned, with her. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'm entertaining is the furniture. Mm -hmm. Okay, you bought the furniture for how much money? We agreed on $800 in January. Okay, and what did you purchase? A couch? It was a sectional. Okay, and what else? That was it, just a sectional. And how much did you give her? I didn't give her anything. And you took possession of it? Yes. Okay, and? And we agreed that if I helped her move, I paid for the U-Haul, got my brother's truck, as, true, well as, as well as got help from Josh to move her, that we would call it even with the couch. Okay, so how many days was the U-Haul rented for? I rented the U-Haul for one day. How much was it? Fifty-four seventy-four. Which I gave her money back for that, Your Honor. Did you? I did. Yeah, the, the agreement was, because I actually had to work until 7, and, and, and the U-Haul place actually closes at 6. So the agreement was for her to rent the U-Haul, and then I would just give her the money, you know, when we came back. And she actually offered uh, to help me move to help Josh move in faster, because his previous uh, living situation had changed, and he actually had to be out. How did it change? Because the landlord um, at his previous home was not paying the mortgage, so it was going under, for court, uh, under foreclosure, and she so actually got the water in. turned off. So oh, they were living with no water. Who's so, the they? Uh, not, him and his that's brother. Not true. That's not true. We had water. I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> well, Angel told me they didn't have water. So. Stand. 